Hello and welcome to Excel video 331. I'm Nate Moore. I got an email yesterday from a group that said, hey, we're trying to keep track of e-prescribing, make sure our docs are still doing it right in 2013, but the reports we're getting out of our system are very hard to use and cumbersome and whatever. Can you help us? And I said, sure. We'll go in, pull the data out of SQL directly, put it in Excel, let you sort it, let you filter it, let you get exactly what you need, make it fit on one page and all that good stuff. If I can help you better organize your data and make your practice more efficient, I'd love to. What I want to do today is talk about a new section of the data tab over here, the what if analysis. We've done lots of pivot tables lately. I want to talk about using Excel to do all kinds of different analysis. You can do what if kinds of analysis, which means what if my reimbursement goes down by this, or what if this modifier changes like this, or what if my physician compensation changes like that, what if I buy this new piece of equipment, and that's the example we're going to do today. Before we get to the menu, let me show you what we're talking about. Let's assume we can offer some new service to our patients. It's billable. We're going to get $148.75 on average per patient out of it. It's going to cost us $58,000 to buy the equipment, assuming all the other costs are the same. We think that if we treat 50 patients a month, that the equipment will pay for itself in 7.8 months. And I, the formula that's here, I've got written down here so you can see, hey, we're just taking B3, the cost of the equipment divided by the number of patients, 50, the reimbursement per patient. So we say 50 patients per month and 148.75 per patient. This will pay for itself in 7.8 months. So that's the equation and it's stored right here. Let me show you what what if analysis and goal seek can do. What goal seek will do is it'll say, all right, Nate, I got three questions for you. Set cell B7. And that happens to be the cell I started on, so it picked B7. Let's say that, you know, as long as it pays back in 12 months, I'm happy. So I'm going to say 12 months, I want to set cell B7 to the value of 12, and I'm willing to change the number of patients I see every month. What's the minimum number of patients I can see and still pay for this equipment in 12 months? So I'm going to hit enter there and click OK. And what Excel did is it says, hey, it worked. Let me close this to get this out of the way. See how Excel changed this from 7.8 to 12? It said, OK, if I change this from 7.8 to 12, I can't change the 58,000. I can't change the 148.75 for purposes of this analysis. But I can change that. So I'm going to reduce that 50 patients a month down to 32 and a half. As long as I see 32 and a half patients on average each month and who receive this procedure, this equipment will pay for itself in 12 months. Now, if I say, no, you know what, I want it to pay for itself in six months, then what I can do is I can change this cell again. Say, now I want to change that. So now I'm going to set cell B7 to 6 by changing the number of patients. Click OK, and I've got to see almost 65 patients a month. I can do more than that. By, let, let's move this back to 50. And let's say, well, what if I want to change the average reimbursement per patient? What if I see 50 and I want to, I want the machine to pay for itself in six months, let's say. So I'm going to click here. Now that the, I'm still going to see 50 patients per month, but this time I'm going to vary the reimbursement. What if analysis goal seek set cell B7. So let's make it pay for itself in a year by changing that. So what have I done? I've said I want the number of months to pay for equipment to be 12, and I'm willing to change the average reimbursement per patient. I'm not going to change the cost of the equipment. I'm not going to change the number of patients I see. What happens if reimbursement changes? And the answer is, hey, Nate, as long as you get 96.67 on average per patient, so if your payer mix changes or reimbursement decreases or however that number moves, you'll pay for it in 12 months. That's what Goal Seek does. We're going to take it apart and see how it works, and we'll do all that next time. Thanks for watching.